If you want to reduce your energy costs by installing solar panels, you can do it DIY. The industry will tell you you cannot, but you can, and I will show you how to do it. Keep watching this video and I will give you a step-by-step -step guide. If you've watched my videos, you'll know that I'm trying to go as off-grid as possible. But I'm just stopping along the way because a lot of people are interested in DIY solar power. So, if you want to reduce your energy costs by using some solar power, but think that you need to use an accredited dealer or a cowboy company that's going to disappear a few months after installing them, then think again. So you want to do this yourself? Brilliant. You need to decide what panels to buy, what microinverters to buy. I'm going to make life simple for you. There's a system called EcoFlow Stream, and it's a kit of two 400 watt panels and a double 400 watt, giving you a total 800 watt micro inverter. It costs £399 for the whole kit, including shipping through Amazon. There are many other ways to buy the system as well. You can find it on the internet. I'm not paid by anybody. Um, I bought the system myself. I have run it for three months and it has been superb. So where should we mount them? I'm going to put them where the sun is and they're going to prop up against the, the hedge at the bottom there. Um, this garden is pretty much uh, south facing that way. So it, the only sunlight in the winter is along the bottom. And these will pick up the early morning sunshine and start producing energy. Do you need permission to install this kit? No, you do not. So how easy is it to connect up? Well, there are two DC cables from this panel and two from this panel. They plug in here. You can't get them the wrong way around. It's connected into the mains via this cable, which I've got plugged into an extension. And that's it. It's generating power now. So that is it. Four cables from the panels, one cable to the mains. Just plug it in, download the app, connect to the panels, which is simple. And there you are, even with the sun going down and hitting behind a tree, generating 33 watts. Absolutely fantastic. So one concern I had about this system is, why is this not live now? See, it's dead. And I've, I've checked it with the meter and it's designed to be like this. This can only have power here when it is actually plugged in and on the mains. So it is, it is safe. Um, it, feels, it feels strange that power can come this way, but it can only come this way when it's actually plugged in. Like so. Power's going back into the grid now.